Hey everyone, it's Gabriel Zamora and welcome back to my channel. Why am I always naked in these videos? I'm not sure. I feel like it keeps away from the... It, I don't know why I'm always naked in these videos. I honestly don't. But nonetheless, I decided to create a tutorial for you guys that is very summer inspired. And I wanted to really play with color and make it really bold, very like, bam, summer. Summer 16. Summer 16 is a very big summer. It is summer 16, as Drake says. So we have to really pump up the volume. I've never really like smoked out my under eye with a color with no color on top. And I'm honestly obsessed. Like I'm really honestly obsessed. So I honestly feel, and then I honestly and honestly and honestly, I swear to God, if I say honestly one more time, I am obsessed with this. I will be wearing this kind of like color underneath the eye. I was really scared that it was gonna bring my eyes down because I already have kind of like downward slanting eyes like on the ends. I feel like it turned out great. More than good, great! Make sure you guys give this a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. And if you wanna know exactly how I created this look, then keep on watching. So now that my hair is up and out of the way, let's begin. Okay, so first I'm gonna use my Benefits Professional. I just really wanted to fill in my pores. And I just like work it on my nose and right underneath my eyes, like this area. I have really large pores here. And then I actually have pores here that I wanna fill. So I want a slightly more natural contour today. So I'm gonna use this little ethnic corrector <laughs> tripod. It's by Ofra Cosmetics. It's in the color Ethnic. And then I'm just using this little brush. This is from like Want My Look. It's super, like, super cheap as opposed to like the, you know the other brushes, the Artiste brushes that are like $70. This is actually $9.99 at wantmylook.com. So yeah, so I'm just gonna do it here. This is gonna be more the transition area as opposed to the darker area. I'm just gonna gradually build. I'm gonna do just like layers. And then with the darker color, bring out my cheekbone. You do want to blend it and place it where you want it, but we will be placing foundation over this. So in reality, the foundation will blend any imperfections, to be quite honest. And now I'm going to use my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in the color NW25 with the same brush. I'm lazy. I'm just gonna place that underneath my eye area. I just wanna be like hella highlighted. I wanna look like the opposite of a panda. You know how pandas are like dark hair? I'm just gonna be extra highlighted for this look. Panda, 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 panda. I got broads in Atlanta. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm gonna use my two foundations at the moment right now. I'm actually mixing my Pro Infallible, my L'Oreal, the matte one, the Pro matte one with my Makeup Forever Ultra HD one. I've been tanning. I don't know if you can tell. Look how tan I am. I'm so dark. I always just get my foundation lighter because I always just darken it up with bronzer. Even though it's dark, they blend very well. Okay, so let's see if this is my color. I think so. Where's my brush? Right in front of me. Okay, with the same brush, I'm obviously obsessed with this brush. So, what I like to do is, I'm not applying too much pressure. I'm just kind of blending out the product, as in the foundation. I'm not trying to blend out the creams that I've already placed underneath. I just want those to like show through. I haven't really shaved, but I'm kind of like, fuck it. And if you really want to work in the foundation some more, I'm just getting a black beauty blender. I'm not adding product. I'm just really pushing it into the skin. Into the skin. Okay. I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer, and this is in the color Y31. Y'all know I'm obsessed with this concealer. I'm just obsessed with it. Do you wanna know something creepy about this concealer? I don't know if, like, y'all, but if you ever get any, like, these trays, like, I like to do my makeup and I like to put it on there. So the foundation will dry in 24 hours. This, I have left on the tray for two days and it doesn't dry. What does that mean? I'm not sure. I mean, it works amazingly, so I'm still gonna use it. It's almost like McDonald's. You know when you leave McDonald's out and it just like doesn't go bad? But I'm just kind of like, fuck it. And I'm just applying it with my finger this time just because I want it to be lighter. I don't want too much product there. And now with my beauty blender, I'm just gonna really buff that into the skin. 
I feel like this is the weirdest face. I don't know why we make weird faces when we apply makeup. Okay, now I'm gonna get my Benefit Cosmetics. This is my Boing and the color one. I like to mix it with lemonade, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I just wanna really define brow. I'm gonna just get like this regular brush. And then the product, I literally just follow my brow. I mean, that's not what my brow looks like, but that's where I want like that arch to go. And I just like work it in like this. And then with my foundation brush, I'm just gonna grab a little bit of foundation and just go over it so it does a natural highlight. Okay, so now I'm gonna set my concealer and then underneath my eye, I'm using my Ben Eye Fair Translucent Powder in the color Fair. And with this, I'm grabbing a small little baby beauty blender. It's a little. And then just right underneath the eye. And then I'm bringing it right here on the side of the nose. I feel like this really helps with contouring later on. And then just press this area up here that we press concealer on, that we put concealer on. And then with my bigger beauty blender, I'm gonna use my banana powder by Ben Nye, my Ben Nye banana powder. You know what I mean. And I'm just gonna bake on top of that, but with yellow now. That's why I didn't go so big with the, with the white, with the fair, because fair is so pink, and I like to be yellow. Y'all know I love to be yellow. Oh my god, I didn't even blend that. Y'all were just gonna let me walk on out of here with that unblended. That was so bad. And this side isn't blended either. Okay, more professional. So now let's move on to brows. I'm gonna use my Benefit Cosmetics. I'm just obsessed with all their brow products right now because I literally ran out of my e.l.f. one, you know, the one that I always use. And I just love that their new packaging. Like their packaging is so pretty. This is supposed to last longer and it's waterproof. So since I'm gonna be either at like a beach or something like that, it just makes sense for me to have a what's your proof product. So when I start my brows, I like to start right there. Just in case it's too dark, I didn't start right here. And then I like to just blend that little bad boy out. Done. And you guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys like this. I hope you guys are obsessed with it. I hope you guys realize that I'm just getting a different brush. So I'm gonna go back to this brush. I just like how long this brush is. So I can feel that it's waterproof because it feels so much more different than the e.l.f. pomade one. It actually feels better. Come on, brows. And that's just with this. I'm like so excited to use all these like products. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the Goof Proof, Goof Proof Brow Pencil, and this is in the color four. I really like it, it's so cute. It looks like a wand. Come on, Harry Potter, Harry Potter. And I like it because I can fill this area. And it's almost like a wax. So let's do the little tail, my little tail. You better slay little tail. It's so pretty. This one is the Precisely My Brow pencil in the color four. And this, I'm just gonna use to line the bottom of my brow. Y'all know how I do this with like shadow? So now with this, I can just do it with this pencil. Girl, I'm so obsessed with these products. And because this one's smaller than the other one, I can make like the hair-like strokes. So with a little spoolie, I'm just gonna brush that up. And now with Gimme Brow by Benefit, this is in the color three. Brush the opposite way, and it like creates a fuller look. Let's try that. And this is the brow that has like no hair. You're supposed to like almost like tease it. Oh, it does look fuller. Come on, brows. Okay, so I'm gonna do it to the other side. Okay, so now for the eyes, I'm gonna use my Violet Vows Laura Lay Palette. Oh, Laura, this is such a good palette. I just love Laura's palette, just because of all the names. Basic, Sugar, Press Pow, Hissy Fit, Tickled Pink Bridges, Fried Fried, Alabama Whiskers, Bubs, Smashly. Love this palette. 
Because I don't want it to be too crazy. I'm gonna start off with Prispa. Yeah, I'm gonna start off with Prispa and really transition that crease. It's a very like orangey color, which will be perfect for this look. Oh, sorry, y'all can't say. Oh my God, I'm such a bad YouTuber. And now I'm using Ragamuffin, which is a more orangey color to really blend out that area. And now I'm gonna use Bridges and place that right on the lip. And because I'm still going for a very bronzy look, I'm gonna use my Hoola bronzer. And with the same brush, I'm just gonna place some of that product on my lid just to darken it ever so slightly. You know what, I'm gonna be real extra. I'm gonna go in with Fry just to deepen in that line. Oh, so much better. I'm gonna use Give Me Sun by MAC and it's not gonna be anything heavy, but I'm just gonna, just to find the under eye area. And I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever Aqua XL Eye Pencil. This is in the color I-34. This is the iridescent one. And I'm just gonna go underneath my waterline and just get it close to the waterline as well. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going in with Whiskers, which is a dark brown from that Laura Lee palette. And it's like, just like that. And I'm going into the crease just to really deepen it, but I'm still rounding out my eye. I just noticed this lid is like droopier than this lid. Well, that sucks. And now with this little brush, it's like this. I'm gonna go in with Smashly, which is this green glitter shadow in this palette, just to kind of like set that pencil. Oh, that's pretty. It almost made it a little bit blue, which I don't mind at all. Oh, it has like an iridescent effect. Okay, and now I'm gonna just brush off all this powder. I just have so much powder on my face. So just brush it off. So let's bronze it up because this is a very summer tutorial. You can go very bronzy, and I think I'm gonna go very bronzy. Bronzy, 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 bronzy. I'm using Give Me Sun by MAC Cosmetics. This is Risqué. This is the Amazonian Clay 12-hour blush, and this is by Tarte. It's the most coral out of the four, which I really like. I'm gonna appear, and then I like to bring my blush onto my forehead. A little bit on the chin, down the bridge of my nose. And then for the nose contour, I'm gonna use my favorite nose contouring brush. This is by Morphe. This is the E47. Tap off any excess. Instead of going all the way down, I'm gonna go down in. JD Wady180, if you don't stop sending me these Snapchats, I'm trying to film a tutorial. Why does it look crooked? That did absolutely nothing. And then with my E55 by Morphe, this is more flat and longer. I'm just gonna try to like buff that out. Let's blend, blend, blend. Just so it's not so much of a line. Perfect. And if you wanna buff it some more, I use my Morphe E41 and just do 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 I feel like I need to get more lip filler, you guys. I feel like it's going away. I'm gonna use my Lily Lashes Eyelash Curler. And then because it is summer, I'm gonna use my waterproof mascara. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly. Y'all know I'm obsessed with this mascara. It's either this one or the Roller Lash one, but this one is waterproof, and that is the look we're going for today. Now I'm gonna use my Favorite lashes of all time. These are Opulence by Lily Lashes. These are the really long ones. I've been really obsessed with it. I feel like picture-wise, they just create a bigger statement. They look more dramatic in person, but in pictures, I just feel like they look better. And then I, my, this is my favorite glue. This is Duo. This is the brush on adhesive one. It's the clear one. I don't believe it's waterproof. I'm so obsessed with this. It literally touches my brows, but I give zero fucks. I swear to God, Chady Waity. I swear to God. I have like 50 million Snapchats from her. 
Oh, this is so pretty. I'm so obsessed. Okay, JD, I'll fucking watch your fucking snaps. Sometimes you just gotta take your ass to Wendy's. I got Rob some moonshine. Hey, baby, take your shot. Do you like it in that house? Oh. Babe. Ooh, what lip am I gonna do? Okay, so the pencil I'm gonna be using, this is by Starlux. This, oh, I got this with a BoxyCharm subscription. This is my Tarte Lippy Lingerie. This is in the color Whisper. Obsessed. Ooh, that's so pretty. And just to make sure my lines are still good, let me go back in. Okay, now I'm gonna use Exposed Highlight. This is by Tarte. It's a really pretty new highlighter that they came out. It's part of that Amazonian clay. And I'm using a Morphe E48 brush. The reason I don't use a fan brush is because this almost places it exactly where I want it to go. And now I'm gonna use my Bobbi Brown highlighter. <gasps> this is my new Honestly Obsession. This is the highlighting powder in the color Bronze Gold. And I'm using this little brush. So I'm gonna highlight right underneath the brows. I forgot to do it before I did my lips. Put it on the inner corner. Let's just add it everywhere. Cause you can never be too highlighted. That's a, that's a definite, yeah. Unless you're doing the highlighter challenge, then you can be too highlighted. And I'm gonna use my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. This is the Marine Boosting Mist. I use it almost like as a setting spray. More so for like the highlighted areas, like. You guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys are obsessed with this as I am. Like, I'm honestly obsessed. I feel like very, like, bubblegum pink. I think it's really the lips. I think it's really the lips. I'm just obsessed with the lips. I'm just, like, not used to, like, stuff on my teeth. So, not on my teeth, it's not on my teeth. Let's make sure if you guys like this video to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you leave any comments, questions, concerns that you may have down in the comment section down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Oh my God. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Until next time you guys. Bye everyone. I literally only see a ring light now. Oh, <laughs>